All right, so today is a fun-filled, busy day. This Sunday, it's what I do. Uh, Sundays, I focus on my business. Um, it's November, so around this time, I'm starting to kind of like die down. Not meaning die down, not doing more with it. It's just um, I focus on what I need to do from month to month. I don't even know if that even made any sense, but let's just give you a rundown of what today I'm going to be doing. First, I changed my clothes and put on my glasses and makeup because, well, just lipstick, um, <laughs> just so I could uh, finish recording. This is what I'm wearing, guys. So I had on the uh, the hoodie to this. This is by Pink, actually. It's by Pink. Um, I had on the hoodie to this and just put this on. Uh, this is from Shein. I've had it for a while now. And I'm wearing my comfy Adidas as of right now. And today's fun day is a lot of recording. I'm doing a lot of tutorials. You guys don't know, I run an online school that teaches you how to make wigs. And not just making wigs, I'm going off into the hair loss sector, which means I'm going to start teaching how to make medical wigs, toppers, toupees, men or male units, children's wigs. I'm going to be teaching all of that online and I'm going to be touring and doing a hands-on course. Well, I currently do hands-on courses now with making wigs, but I'm going to be touring around the United States and back to South Africa to teach on how to make medical units or units for hair loss purposes. So that's what I'm doing today is focusing on that part of my business. I have a lot of tutorials that I just finished editing actually earlier this morning because I got up a little bit early. And um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm about to do now. <laughs> All right, so I'm uploading a video onto my Wig Making 101 channel, which you guys probably are not subscribed to. You probably want to go there. But um, I'm uploading a video right now on making the pixie cut wig using your sewing machine, 27 piece, and a lace frontal. Here is what that wig looks like. I'm going to be doing a live today at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on cutting and styling pixie cut wigs. But this is what it looks like at the moment. Um, I am going to need to color the hair. Well... The frontal needs to be black so that it matches this hair as well. But that's done and ready to go for my live tutorial. I am styling some wigs for a client right now. I've been recording all of that and I'm going to finish editing those today. I am getting ready to record on um, product photography. And when I mean product photography, I'm talking about product photography when it comes to... Uh, there we go. Product photography when it comes to your wigs and selling wigs. So we're starting off with the wigs first, and then I'll start talking about product photography for medical units, for children, and things like that. So um, that's what we're doing. So I'm going to be uh, doing a tutorial on three-point lighting, how to do a 360 um, photography on your units. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So this is the, kind of like the, the thing. <laughs> it's a 360 product photography graft. This is how you're able to do all of the pictures that's needed in order to put it in a software that allows you to uh, pan back and forth to get the wigs, you to see the full 360 of the wig meaning you need front, back, and both sides of the wig. Now, you can get away with just those four images. If you're learning, I'm going to be doing that in the tutorial anyway, but I wanted to show that so that those of my students that are actually selling their custom wigs, they know how to do their own product photography and set up their websites and things like that. And if they're not able to do it, I would recommend them hiring a photographer or hiring me. <laughs> to prepare for the live um, I use my cell phone to do everything well not everything sometimes I end up using my computer too but um, there are some steps that I do make sure that I do before 
I uh, get started. I do want to make sure that my is my phone is on do not disturb mode because I don't want calls and things coming in while I'm in the middle of educating. And I use Zoom. It's a conferencing style app. And not only can you join in by phone and listen, but because this is a hands-on um, training thing that I do online, uh, I make sure I provide the link for the video. So everything is done video format. Like I'm talking to you in video, that's exactly what I'm doing with my students on my cell phone. So I'm checking to make sure of that. And like I said, I use Zoom to do everything. So I'm just kind of preparing myself to get started because I start in 10 minutes. And all right then. So let's start with first things first. We can't make this too long of a video because I have a meeting with someone um, right after that's going to benefit everybody in wig making 101. So. All right, so live is done. The wig is over there. Tutorial is done. Um, I'm on my iPhone that I was using in order to do the live tutorial, the, the live course. Um, I have two phones, so um, this one is actually my business phone, and I like to use it because, okay, whatever. But I just hate that I had to go to this because I use a Polaroid Cube. I probably am going to purchase another one. Uh, reason why, or either just buy more of these um, these SD cards, micro SD cards, because I recorded the whole time that I was, you've seen it in the clips, I recorded the whole time there, and so the battery goes dead after a while, and then I have to charge it, and if I'm still in the middle of uh, recording my vlogs now, um, Unfortunately, I have to switch over to something else. So I hate doing it on my phone because it seems like it's a hassle. I got to remember to go back to it and get the video or whatever. But um, hey, that's what I did with my other videos. I've used all three of my cameras. I've used my iPhone, I've used my Polaroid Cube, and I used my Sony uh, V5000 or something like that. So I feel like I need more cameras, but uh, why when our phones can do all of that. I know what to do. It's just annoying. So I just finished, uh, as you can see, I just finished editing the, the live. So what I do is I download it from zoom and then I edit it and then I put it onto the website. That's what I do. So I just finished it. I'm waiting on it to finish loading and then I'm going to put it on my platform and go from there. I have a online meeting in like one minute. Oh my God, guys, I have a meeting in like one minute. Um, and it's a business deal. So I'll go. Oh, she's here. took about an hour and 15 minutes it was amazing um we are going to be completing ndas if you don't know what that means that's non-disclosure agreements so there's only so much information i can tell you right now even though i haven't signed one yet it's only so much information i can tell you but in a nutshell we're doing some really really big things in the hair industry that has more than likely and may never actually come to fruition unless it's through us and maybe i'm being a little egotistical about it 
but I am working with some very amazing women and I have worked with some other amazing people too and still working with them. So I am truly a serial entrepreneur. I do understand where my role is with all of the different businesses that I am a part of and I am just an educator, uh, a trainer. I can pull things together when it comes to I know where my role is. That was just say that. But this was an amazing meeting and it was very much informational on all of our parts because we all come with different aspects and experiences in the hair industry. So that's what this meeting was about. Another company we're going to be building. And yeah, again, I hate doing things on my cell phone, but it kind of looks really good right now looks really good so I'm gonna finish what's going on back there because I need to finish that for my current wig making 101 students and I'm about to start doing some social media posting of that pixie wig that I just finished doing a live tutorial of but it's 446 I probably only got maybe about an hour or two to go shop and enjoy myself so that's what I'm about to go all right, so it looks like I gotta continue my blog on my phone because this thing, look, look, it hasn't finished powering up or whatever you wanna call it. It hasn't finished charging. So, show you some things I got. We all can't go nowhere with bad breath. <laughs> I like to use Listerine over toothpaste. That's just my thing. I still brush my teeth, but I use Listerine, shake that a little bit, and then just brush my teeth with water. Uh, I brush morning and night. Uh, Turks and Caicos. If you guys remember, like my, the way I like to do my makeup is different now, but this actually works just as well. Well, that's not what I want to say, but Turks and Caicos blush and highlighter or bronzer. I like this. I bought two of them and I'm not a fan of buying stuff that I don't need so just being honest with you guys I get enough uh, stuff in my email of sponsorships and things like that so I'd rather not pay for clothes and things like that because I get them through sponsorships being a youtuber one of the perks I went to five below because that's my favorite place to go when I do want to buy little trinkets and things to reward myself for a very accomplished day even though the day isn't actually done 6 45 and it's already dark i need a bike seat cover because my gym planet not planet fitness what the heck <laughs> nothing wrong with planet fitness but my uh gym la fitness they have a cardio class bike uh cycle what they have a cycling class and i want one of these for my seats so they had these for five bucks at five below that's amazing and my cute little sock 